For months, the Colorado Department of Labor has been battling unemployment fraud, and it's gotten so bad the federal government is requiring all states now to implement an ID system to verify those who apply for unemployment. But even with a new system, the state says fraud attempts will continue. And as Denver 7 CB Cotton reports tonight, crooks have many tricks to choose from. Below is your unemployment benefits personal identification number. Keep your pin safe. Your pin is confidential and should not be shared with anyone. Those were the words Kevin Spillane read off of this letter he received late last week. With the Colorado Department of Labor logo printed on the letterhead and a message about unemployment benefits, Spillane couldn't help but think the message was real, even though he hadn't filed for unemployment. First, I called up my boss to say, hey, uh, am I still working? <laughs> You've got something to tell me? And he says, no, I you're still with us, don't worry. The Colorado Department of Labor says if you receive one of these letters or these rely cards, it's one way to know all or some of your personal information has been stolen by a criminal applying for pandemic unemployment benefits. As of Thursday, the state says tens of thousands of Coloradans have reported fraud cases. The 30,000, those are reports of identity theft. If a person receives a debit card, a PIN number, a 1099, those are the people reporting into that form and that's about 30,000. Colorado has already paid out about 10 million in fraudulent benefits, but they've stopped about $7 billion in fraudulent payments from being sent out. The state labor department hopes a new ID verification system launching in the next week or two will crack down on the number of fraud cases out there. We know we're going to identify new fraud and we're going to continue to hold those if we don't feel that they're actually a real person behind that claim. While the state predicts fraud will continue, Spillane hopes no signs of it will make their way to his mailbox again. That money is designated for people who deserve it, you know, who need it. And it's not just Colorado dealing with unemployment fraud. Again, so many signs of it arriving in people's mailboxes. Let this number sink in. The U.S. Department of Labor says $36 billion has been illegally siphoned out of the unemployment system since the start of the pandemic through November. CB Cotton, Denver 7.